Hi, just a quick video because I just wanted to show you this novel little scope that I got from Rigo. It's the DHO 800 series and there's an unboxing and first impressions of this over on my EV blog website. You won't find it on my YouTube channel. You've actually got to go to my website. So evblog.com and you can see my uh, unboxing and first impressions video of this. Anyway, it's a very interesting scope because of the size form factor it kind of looks you might be able to like i do not have a big hand look at the size of this thing and look at it look at it isn't it cute right it is so cute and yes it has a visa mount and it only weighs 1.3 kilos it's got hdmi out it's got usb device it's got lan anyway i've done that all in the unboxing video starts at 329 us dollars and it's 12 bit it's 12-bit. I think 8-bit scopes are dead. Anyway, I've got to do a review video and a teardown video. I just thought I'd do a size comparison. So let's go. I'm going to have to zoom out here um, because some of the scopes that we compare it with might be a tad larger. So let's, let, let's give it a go. Anyway, so there it is, the DHO800. If I call it the HDO, uh, then please forgive me. But because... I mean, they've, they've changed. Here's the HDO 1000, uh, 1200 uh, series or whatever it is. Um, yeah, they changed from HDO to DHO. I don't get it. Why? Anyway, there's a size comparison. You can see how tiny this thing is. And it's got little integral handle like that. It's really very cool. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, what else have we got? The Rigol DS1054Z. You'd be absolutely mad to buy one of these. Look, it's the same height, but check out the thickness, right? This is thick as, look at this bad boy, right? <laughs> Four channels, 12 bit, you'd be crazy. Now, to buy the 1054Z, there's just, you, it's just nuts. Anyway, there you go, Um, size comparison there. Uh, what do we got with another, uh, well, the, other sort of in industry leading uh, low end scope, the Siglent uh, 1104XE. Um, so once again, you know, it's a similar height, but again, the just the thin thinness of these is a huge, huge difference in terms of size and weight. And it's got a visa mount, so you can, you know, mount it anyway. There you go. Uh, what else have we got? Um, oh, here we go. Look at this. All right. The Tektronix 2 series are oh, absolutely gorgeous, hi, um, and yeah, fantastic, once again, very slim, like this, sorry, I've got it on the stand, I won't take it off, but, you know, the 2 series is, of course, uh, slimmer, but it's larger, very, you know, hugely different, right, this is a $329, or as you see here, I think it's 460 Yankee bucks or something with the uh, extra bandwidth and the four channels and the whatnots, but yeah, look at that, I mean, <laughs> quite a large, uh, Size comparison there. Let's get another one. We've got the Rigol, the old school Rigol DS2200 uh, series. That's a, a significantly bigger scope there. Um, once again, thick as. Let's go for the, oh, one of my favorites, the Keysight 3000 here. Look at that, that's a decent size, isn't it? So what else we got? We've got the Mixig tablet. So. It's almost the same size as a tablet oscilloscope, really. The tablet's a little bit, a little bit smaller. Uh, yeah, it's hard with the camera angle and everything, but you know, call it, it's, oh, yeah, you no, know, call it even Stevens. Even Stevens, really. Um, and well, I guess with the extra knobs, you know, similar. So it's basically a tablet size, uh, a, not, not a tablet, but a portable. Uh, you know, Mixig do make the uh, tablet uh, ones now. They're one of the leaders in the tablet uh, scope series. But it's basically one of these small tablet size with a with the four channels and the like the real knobs and everything. So there you go. What else have we got? Uh, uh, yeah, no, that's it. No, is it? Yes, that, no, got one more. Hang on. Hang on. Ah, look at this bad boy. The MX-04 series doesn't even fit on the screen. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's the Roden Schwartz MX-04, a gorgeous scope. Absolutely gorgeous. But look at the footprint. Look at the footprint of the, 
the bench footprint. Obviously, you can't compare them, right? If you have to ask the price of this, you can't afford it. This is 300 starts from 329 bucks. Hack, I believe someone on the EV Block forum has already hacked it. So, yeah, there you go. But, um, oh, this thing, the form factor, the box that came in, couldn't believe the size of it. You'll have to go see my unboxing and first impressions video. But I just wanted to give you a size comparison and show you how truly small this, jeez, okay, how small this thing is. I just love, I just love the form factor. Haven't used it in anger yet, but... Oh, geez. Anyway, um, uh, they could be on a real winner here. And yeah, I think 8-bit could be dead. This is 12 bits. Starts at 329 bucks. Anyway, go over to evblog.com and you can see my unboxing video and review and teardowns will come as well. But I haven't done those yet. Haven't even fed a signal into it yet. Just got it today. Anyway, thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time. It's so cute. It's so cute.